Good afternoon, everyone. Scott Johnson, Red Cross Elementary 6th grade science teacher, coming to you live from our classroom this afternoon. Just wanted to give you a little tutorial on mask. Uh, you know, the question gets asked by students all the time. You know, we hear that masks are effective. We hear that masks aren't effective. What is it that we're using them for? How much does it help us? Well, I wanted to give you a little demonstration today just to show you how much the mask does help and what they actually say about it. First off, do know that masks can give you protection from getting sick from others, but it can also more importantly help you from spreading the gases that you exhale to other people. In fact, a mask uh, gives you an 82% better chance of not spreading anything that you have inside your body to other people. It helps to block. And I have some small demonstrations to show you today that'll help you to understand that better. For example, take a look at this candle. Now it's burning, right? And it needs to burn, and in order to do that, it needs oxygen, okay? Right now, it has a steady supply of oxygen gas, and because of that gas, it's able to have flame, right? Well, I can easily put that out with by just forcing molecules to hit the flame by simply blowing. No big deal, right? I bet many of you have blown out birthday candles before. So how does the mask affect that? Well, let's relight the candle. And let's try some of the different masks. For starters, our We Are Barron County mask. You know, as a teacher, I wear these masks constantly all day. And one of the things that we can do, let's see how it does with effective. So once again, you saw me blow out the candle. Same candle, no trick shots, no camera stoppage. Okay, gonna put on my mask. Let's give it three good puffs, right? Like the big bad wolf. We're gonna huff, we're gonna puff, and we're gonna try to blow the candle out. Ready? Well, that's one. Well, that's two. Now, ah, we did get some flicker. There is a small amount of air able to get through, but I don't have enough to actually put out the candle. Well, Johnson, what if it's not one of those masks? What if it's something different? Well, let's give it another shot. This is one made by one of our preschool teachers. She made it for those cards, right? As you can see, my lovely display at the top, my driver head there, even Skinny likes my golf head cover. So I put on this mask. Now it's pleated just like a hospital mask. Okay. And now I widen it out. I've got good coverage, mouth and, uh, mouth and nose. And let's give it a shot. <sighs> Oh, once again, we have flicker, but just not enough to get the candle to go out. So once again, does the type of mask affect it? Of course. You can see that there are times if, if air is able to escape over the top, if air is underneath, the more direct I put it, I'm moving the flame, but I'm still not putting it out. Well, what about something more plain? What about just a simple one layer mask that you can buy at many stores. They had these uh, at the dollar store uh, for just a couple of bucks. All right, let's try it. Simple, on, gotta have that red. Here we go. <sighs> Nothing, okay, let's try two more. How about the paper mask? The one that's mostly available, the disposable mask um, that you, we, we give these to students at school. We help to make sure that everybody has a mask if they need one. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon. You can get them at many different types of stores. Okay, ears over the top, spread for closure. I've got a good seal at the chin, over the mouth and the nose. Let's give it a shot now. Paper mask. <sighs> Ah, all right, I got one more to try, and it was made by my buddy Kevin. He's fantastic, L1C4 The Arts, uh, that you can follow him on Twitter. He makes all kinds of great things. He made this cardinal uh, teeth mask for me. Uh, it's it's kind of thicker, right? It's got a good elastic material around the top and bottom to help me with the seal, and of course it, it looks, you know, helps me look like the cardinal himself, okay? Here we go, let's see how it goes. Ah, 
Ugh. Once again, what do we notice? We do notice flicker. We are able to push some oxygen molecules out. But remember, when we exhale, we're exhaling CO2, right? So I am pushing enough carbon dioxide to get it there, but I'm not pushing enough carbon dioxide to simply do this. Which, as you can see, was way less hard than what I was blowing before. We can see the same demonstration when we do something as simple as blowing up a balloon. Not hard at all, right? We try to do that same task with a mask. As you can see, we do get air into the balloon. But we have to give a whole lot more effort than simply when we do this. So what does that start to show us? Well, it shows us what we know. Masks are 82% effective in guarding from air, exhaling from your body, and spreading to others. It does help to stop the flow. Does it stop at 100%? No. Um, and in fact, most things don't. Now, you can have an N95 mask that are issued to medical workers and emergency personnel, and those are form-fitted for their face, and it will block out most things, but it's still not even 100%. As you can see, this is my boy Nolan. He's coming. This is my four-year-old. He saw balloons and candles, and he sees bubbles, and so he all kinds of says, hey, Nolan, do you want to help me with my last experiment? Okay, let's do this. Now, this is a bottle of bubbles that Nolan got. Yeah, he got them for being a good little guy. Right, Nolan, can you help me for a second? I want you to show folks at home how easy it is to blow bubbles. Go ahead, just give it a blow. I'm going to hold it. There, Man, that's a lot of bubbles, right? Yeah, terrific. Loves the bubbles. Now, well, you know our procedure now. We're going to do that same thing, but this time... I'm going to mask up. Hey, do you want to go get your mask? Go grab your mask well, and bring I, it over here. Can I tell you something? Well, what do you want to tell me? Why are you still? Well, you haven't done that. Yeah, I'll let you help me with that then. Go grab your mask and you can show the people at home something. So I'm just going to grab my Barron County Schools mask. I'm going to put that on. And now Nolan's grabbing his mask as well. He's got a little WeRBC mask. He's coming on over. Thank you very much. There's my goodie turn. So in the meantime... Here I go, I'm gonna get my bubbles ready. Once again, same container, no tricks, okay? First off, I'm gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Once again, with the mask on, I don't generate enough content, enough force to, to give bubbles. Without the mask, we create bubbles easily. Nolan, you want to give it a try? Okay, first off, Nolan, I want you to keep your mask on, and I want you to try to blow bubbles, okay? On the count of three, ready? One, two, three, blow. Do it again. Oh, man, do it one more time. Oh, no, no, no. Keep your mask on, don't cheat. Oh, man. All right, now, Nolan, take your mask off. Here you go. Now blow those bubbles. What do you know exactly? Go ahead. Ah, yeah. So what do we see? We see that even with mask, we're still able to get small amounts of gas through. However, because we're blocking so much of that gas, we can't even do the most routine things. Blow out a candle, blow up a balloon, blow some bubbles, right? So it's important, folks. We want to make sure and understand the mask helps protect you a little bit, but it does more to protect all those people around you. Nolan, do you want to show the folks how we can make gas work? Take this balloon and just simply lift it up. Just like that. Yeah, we're going to put it in there. Now, gas can escape in all kinds of things. With a simple reaction, we can create enough gas to start filling this balloon. What do you think? It's not going to pop. We're not that crazy. 
But ultimately, this is Scott Johnson, Red Cross science teacher at uh, sixth grade here in Glasgow, Kentucky. This is my four-year-old Nolan, and we're happy to be here. We hope you're taking care of yourselves. We hope that you're staying healthy. We hope that you're staying safe. Wear your mask, please. Help protect not just you, but be kind to others and help protect them from the gases we exhale too. Thank you so much for your time.